and welcome. These are horse racing selections for Thursday, the 29th of June. I am Flat Cap Callum, and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. All right, uh, up front, I've got some golf bets, but if you want to do some of them, it's 7.30 in the morning is the British Masters tee off time, so you'll need to get on them tonight or first thing in the morning if you want the golf. Um, as always, as I've done this year, they were advised um, as kind of the best bookmaker to use, but I'm not recording it for statistics. Um, so we'll get to that. As far as horses, super quiet for me Thursday. I've got three horses, one each way pattern bet. That's all I've got. Three horses, three races. That's it. Um, it's it's a quite a quiet day. Friday looks a bit better. Then um, the weekend's got potential. Saturday's Northumberland Plate Day, so um, good race to kind of get involved in. Um, and then Sunday, um, there's a reasonable meeting at Curra, so we'll see see how we go. So uh, yeah, quite quite lull on Thursday, and then we might get a bit busier Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we'll see. Um, as far as Wednesday went. Um, it was, there were some good bits, just not quite enough or not quite enough together. So I got it as 30 on 21.26. So we were 8.74 down for the for the day uh, and to start the week. Um, so spinning through, strong bow, very, very close. It, it didn't it didn't get the run quick enough. Um, otherwise, I think that would have been would have been a winner. Um, it was much shorter price SP. Channel had a 35p rule for deduction on that one. Um, and then we had... Um, Shalada, that place. So we had two places, and then annoyingly, uh, I had two two framed in the four twenty, but not Molinari, so couldn't complete the pattern. So it was place double on that one. Um, but yeah, and I st stuck in two brothers or even Grace's Quest three six five or Sky would have would have been a bit better. Um, this one was rubbish, non runner, and everything else was rubbish. So. Um, just got back a little bit of refundishness there. We had three three non runners in the end. To be fair, and and even with those non runners, um, still managed to do okay in terms of not not lose everything. Um, we had non runner there. Place fifth for Sky and three six five. As long as you placed the bet before the the non runners came out, that was a non runner. And then that one the story of the evening was just just missed out. So you think so? It looked like it was going to get there. And got done in a bunch, finished, ended up fifth. Four would have been good for some, three for everybody, but fifth done wasn't good for anyone. So that was that. Um, it was this bet that sort of gave us a nice little return. So we had a non, uh, a, a, no good, non-runner place, uh, placed at a bigger price as well. So for those of you using other bookies, you'd have, got, you'd have done better off that one. Uh, that was non-runner. Two brothers got massively backed in. So I don't know how many people would have got 20s. Um, it, it was available the night before, but then in the morning it was gone, that price. Um, Molinari, no good. And Grace's Quest place for Sky and 365. So it basically meant we've got, we had a non-runner and a place with a non-runner, a winner and a place. So um, yeah, it was it was a reasonable return on that one. And that kind of got, was where most of our, came from, our return came from. Uh, a little dabble at this uh, different different uh, strategy didn't work for so unique. Uh, Blanc de Noir placed, and then we had Wauhan and Monzoon both looked like they were going to get a place, and then tied at the end and got to overtaken, and so they were weren't far away, but just missed out on a place. And Muhara's girl couldn't quite get there, and that was a bunch finished for places, but it came off worst. So yeah, it was, it was all a bit close in the evening, but but not there. Um, and this one, we only had Teddy Boy, so yeah, that draw did not go my way at all. <laughs> that was absolutely shocking. But somehow Teddy Boy managed to cut in a little bit and uh, and get a place. Um, but uh, yeah, that that was the only one. And then that one, as as mentioned, they, they got run out of the places. So we start the week with a loss, um, and we go into Thursday just with a five pound bet. So Thursday's bet. This is it. This is my one and only bet for the day. Uh, 320 Newcastle. That's the, the tightest one of the three, even though there's two of them at the same price. The Turpinator, um, 18. I think there's, there's there's a little bit of value in that price. I should probably think... It, I'd back it at 12s, and that would be that would be it. If it, go, if it would go shorter than that, I probably wouldn't. Um, so just to give you a bit of an insight on that one. 455 mixed dream that that's my that's my number one pick for the day i think that should be half the price easy um i'd back that eight to one um mixed dream at 18 to one i think that's nicely nicely weighted to uh to go 
go well over Newmarket again. And then nine o'clock Hamilton, really competitive race, but Sharabang, it's priced for its chance of winning because it doesn't look like it's got much movement in, in its mark, but it's been running off the same sort of mark and coming in, in and around the frame. So it is a competitive race that, um, and it's not particularly favourable in terms of place uh, place terms per runners. Um, but 33s, I couldn't walk past Sharabang. Um, I think that one's probably probably worth backing anything down to about 18s, I should think, something like that. Um, mixed Dreams just got a better chance of framing. Um, so it's a 25p each way Trixie. Or I should say, it's not a pattern, is it? Yeah. Did a Trixie, and then I've got 50p each way singles on all three. So it's it's you could say it's a 25p each way pattern with 25p each way singles, or you could say it's a 25p each way Trixie with 50p each way singles. Anywho, uh, Sky and Unibet are four, four, and four. Coral and Betfred are four, three, and four. Um, so they're they're the best four bookies for the bet. Five pound it is. That is it. One and only horse bet. Um, and then if you want the golf, it's um, what I've got is I've got two in the outright market for the Rocket Mortgage Classic, which doesn't start till lunchtime on Thursday, so you've got a bit more time. But then I've got a recommended side bet, and I haven't done one for a while. And I, I quite like this one. Um, uh, I don't look every week, and, and today because the horses have been been. Um, I was busy doing horses last night, and then horses today has been a lot lighter, so I've had a touch more time. I've had a look through the golf. Um, and I quite I quite like the look of these four. Um, so they they're worth singles, but putting together. So you just have to be on it quick tonight or first thing in the morning. So the lucky fifteen top category bet. So if you're not familiar with this because you've not seen the channel since I've, I've, I've I haven't done these for a while, you're looking in the side market. And the tricky thing is each bookmaker has it in different place, and some are more some are easier to find than others in terms of where they place it. Um, but in the British Masters, we've got top French, Clement uh, Sorday, 14 to 1, is best price. Betfred, Bet Victor, Boyle Sports, there's a few that are 14s. There's quite variance in these prices. Um, so if you wanted a single, Clement Sorday at 14s at the Betfred, Bet, Bet Victor, Boyle Sports. Top Spanish, Sebastian Garcia Rodriguez, sometimes written as just Sebastian Garcia. 25 to 1, Sky is the best place uh, best place to put that on as a single top south african jc richie 12 sky's the best one for that as a single and then in the rocket more rocket mortgage classic and if you did miss these british masters one that's definitely worth a single top continental european in the rocket rocket mortgage classic that's basically europeans that aren't british and irish so top continental European, Henrik Norlander, 22 to 1 best price, Coral Ladbrokes. There's a few others that small, more smaller bookies. So I would back all those. I mean, I personally, I've backed them all singles. Um, if you wanted to do the job lot and do it as a lucky 15 or a Yankee, Coral or Ladbrokes look like they're the best place to do it. Um, so overall, when you combine the odds, not all bookmakers. Last time I checked on a Sky account, I haven't done for a while, you, it wouldn't let you put them in multiples. But you'd be fine with someone like Paddy, uh, but the, pre the prices aren't preferable with Paddy. Um, and you could do it three six five, but the prices aren't preferable there. Um, I haven't tried all of the other kind of smaller bookmakers, but Coral and, or Ladbrokes are the best ones. I say that, I haven't tested Ladbrokes. Um, but if I tell you my money, my money's down on Coral <laughs> with these. Um, so that is, that is those ones. So they're the top category markets. Um, sometimes you just need to look at in, in a bookmaker and look at outright markets and scroll down and you'll find it. And then the only two actual overall outright golfers, I've got no outright golfers in the British Masters. I didn't I didn't like anything at value. These are my two for Rocket Mortgage Classic. JJ Spawn at 66 is Sky best price on that one. Um, and then and that is a particularly good price of Sky because it's a bit shorter elsewhere. And Matt Wallace, 150 to 1. Sky or Hills, you can get that with. Um, that is my golf recommendations. If you want them, want them, you can have them. If you don't want them, you can leave them. Um, but I personally put my own cash down um, on these, not specifically all these bookmakers because I couldn't put stuff down with Sky. Um, but uh, yeah, I've certainly put all of these in my combination bet on with Coral. Uh, and that is what I've got. So there are those. Take it or leave it. All right, that is me. I shall be back now. When am I back? uh friday morning it should be friday morning wouldn't it uh yeah friday morning i should be back um 
with the next video. Uh, and then the other thing to flag is I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I did mention at the beginning, Sunday looked like a not bad day. I'm just not sure if I'll be able to do a vid on Sunday. Uh, basically, I've got a long-standing social engagement that involves um, ale. Um, and uh, yeah, Saturday Saturday's going to be a, a, a day out for me. And uh, it's, a, it's a rarity. It's the first time I've had this particular engagement for like four years. Um, so, uh, so it's quite a big one. Um, and Saturday night, you won't want me to be doing it. Well, some of you probably would like it if I did a video, but you wouldn't want my selections on Saturday night, trust me. Um, and then uh, Sunday morning, um, I don't think my judgment's going to be quite on point. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, it might be that um, if I if I have a little look, it might be I either do a late upload on Sunday, like a lunchtime upload, um, and, and there will, there'll be a shorter window between selections, or it might just be I don't do a video at all and I put a couple of bits um, in the comments uh, if, if I've got anything. <laughs> if, if I'm... If I'm, if I'm Compass meant is enough. All right. That is me. I'll be back Friday morning, definitely. And then I shall be back Saturday morning, definitely. And then pending for the uh, for, for if there's another video or not. All right. I hope you are all well. Um, and uh, let's let's try and have a nice little winning day off these three selections. Quite, quite a day. But um, yeah, a couple of places um, or one winner. And that's and we're, we're, we're good. One place won't be enough. Um, so yeah, we need we need two places or one winner out of those, um, and, uh, and we're we're ahead for the day. If not, it'll be a little loss, and we'll move on to Friday. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye.